remembering that capitalism is a structure or a framework for describing the political economy that was invented uh, by socialists, mostly Karl Marx. Although the theory was constructed by those who were against the status quo, it quickly got picked up by people who were in favor of the status quo and thought this capitalism theory was great. And the weird thing is just the sheer amount of Das Kapital that it survives as a theory in modern economic thought. One of the big problems with capitalism as a theory is that it does rely on the existence of self-interest. Homo economists. Self-interest is really just a, what you might often call Western world, prejudice. It is not really cross-culturally or even interculturally how humans really behave. Now, some later right-wing, what I would call right-wing economists, even those from Chicago, have kind of grudgingly come around to admitting this. But behavioral ec economics is still problematic because they don't, well, they have a lot of problems. Competition does occur, but so does cooperation. And this is kind of an important thing to note because the existence of cooperation is kind of difficult to reconcile with capitalist theory. Humans, especially in small groups, tend to be extraordinarily communal. But in addition to that, sometimes people just do stuff that isn't in their own best interest. That happens all the time. And yeah, behavioral economists sort of figured that out. Took them long enough. Un University of Chicago economists are a little bit slow on the uptake because everybody else was pretty much on board. So the too long didn't watch here is that Capitalism relies on the idea of humans acting in their own best interest, whatever that means, and that humans don't actually do that, whatever that means. And that is difficult for capitalist theory. In fact, I would go so far as to say that that is a devastating blow to capitalist theory. But there's more, just not today.